six weeks since the announcement and the groundwork has begun in earnest. The lead team from the World Health Organization says setting up the hub won't be difficult, but the right frameworks must be in place. When Afrigen sets up the technology, that it is free to, to set this technology up, that it is free to transfer that to other manufacturers, but that then, then those manufacturers are bound to provide the vaccine that they produce, first of all to their country and then to their regions, at a price that is affordable to their country and to their neighbours. Apart from meeting the manufacturing units Afrigen and Biovac, the team is also seeking firm political commitments which guarantee support for the continent's first vaccine producing techno hub. So how are we going to build the market shaping so that the, the vaccines that are produced in Africa can be procured in Africa? And how are we going to do this in, such a, in a sustainable way such that when the government changes, which governments always do, that the next government is also prepared to pay a higher price for the locally produced product and doesn't say, oh, let's close that down, let's buy it from India, it's cheaper. The issue of intellectual property patents still lingers. The South African mRNA vaccine hub will have to develop its own new technology that won't infringe on Moderna and Biotech. Both pharmaceutical companies have already developed mRNA vaccines. We, we don't see a, a risk of infringing patents by doing mRNA vaccines in, in South Africa and in all of Africa, as a matter of fact. Um, other risk would be the choice of a technology. We would have loved, frankly, that Moderna or BioNTech have come, knocked on the door and say, you know, this is a great project. We will give you the technology for Africa. But this has not happened. The WHO lead team will be in Cape Town until Wednesday, meeting with both local companies and other stakeholders. In the coming weeks, an announcement is expected with full operational details and targeted timelines. Nama Bolani, SABC News, Pretoria.